Leo latiba ya kidogo cha sita imetangazwa. Yaani imekuwa announced kwa maana hii ni final touch. Yaani ni ratiba ya mwisho tena. Hakuna editing nyingine tofauti. Uh, maana ya kutoka ratiba hii ni kuonesha kwamba sasa muda umeisha, right? Kwa wanafunzi wa kidato cha sita it means muda umeisha. Kwa muda uliobaki kama umeona imetolewa ratiba ya mwisho maana yake muda wa mtihani umekaribia. Lakini kuna maswali kadhaa ambayo mwanafunzi unatakiwa kujiuliza kwamba baada ya ratiba ya kuwa imetoka je wewe umejiandaa kwa namna gani kukabiliana na huu mtihani kutoka kwa ratiba ndiko kutoka kwa mtihani sasa wewe kama mwanafunzi umejiandaa kwa kiwango gani kukabiliana na huu mtihani nafikiri mimi nitazungumza kwa wale wanafunzi wangu ambao tumetoka wote level tumepanda wote na wengi tumekuwa tukipigana simu kupeana ushauri wa hapa na pale kwa hiyo kama ni mara ya kwanza unatembelea hii channel yangu ni kuomba usache kusubscribe, kulike, kushare pamoja na comment. Call me teacher D. Na kitu ambacho nakifanya hapa nahitaji ni ni, ni ni kupe wanafunzi wa HGK. Nataka nizungumzie kwa maana ya Kiswahili, Geography and History. Uh, kwamba unataka ujitazame uone umefikia mazingira gani. Ninachoenda kuonesha sasa ni kuonesha zile topics na kukuonesha vitu ambavyo kama mpaka sasa hujavikava na ratiba ya mtihani tayari imekuwa announced it means unatakiwa ujitafakari right kwa sababu hii mtihani unaanza tale tisa mwezi wa tano. na leo ni mwezi wa pili kwa hiyo kuna miezi mitatu hapa ambapo katikati unaweza ukafanya jambo inapo utaamua kuwa serious so cha kwanza nimesema nitadili na na na, na, na geography nitatazama history lakini nitamalizia na Kiswahili kwa hiyo twende pamoja usiskip ili ujipime we mwanafunzi ambaye unaingia kwenye mtihani e, siku chache zijazo katika kwa mujibu wa somo la history ambapo mtihani unaotungwa yani huo ambao tumeona ratiba yake unatungwa kwa maana ya both both schools and the private yani school and the private candidates wote wanatumia mtihani huo huo hii format inaonesha baadhi ya topic ambazo ni compulsory. Yaani hizi ndizo topic ambazo zitatumika kutunga mtihani wako, right? Ambayo hapa kuna history 1 <coughs> pamoja na history 2. Sasa kama wewe ni mwanafunzi ambaye unajiandaa kufanya mtihani mwezi wa tano, tarehe tisa basi jipime na ujiulize kwamba katika hizi topic ambazo ziko hapo tunayo ya kwanza ni pre-colonial African societies ambazo hizi tayari umezisoma orevo lakini pia umezisoma form 5 na kwa kipindi cha ambacho uko form 6 pia umezipitia ambayo hii ni pre-colonial african societies lakini kuna africa and europe in 15th century right lakini kuna people of africa origin in the new world lakini kuna from colonialism to the first world war kutoka 1818 paka 1914 lakini kuna colonial economy and the social services after the second world war lakini kuna the influence of external force that lies of the nationalism and the struggle for independence na pamoja na hii political and economic development in Tanzania since independence hizi ni topic is the history one is almost seven topics right ambazo kama unajiandaa kuingia katika chuma cha mtihani kumbuka mtihani wako wa history yani hautotoka out of here yani mtihani wa history one ambapo lazima uh, kuna marks ambazo zinabidi uzikusanye hapa na za history two kumbuka hautotoka nje ya hizi topic saba kwa hiyo ka chini jiulize kwamba ratiba ya mtihani imetoka leo je wewe umejiandaaje katika hizi history one umekava right these are the first question you have to ask yourself but the second issue tunaangalia history 2 ambako history 2 pia kuna number of topics ambazo you have to yani inakubidi uwe tayari umezimaster right ambapo ya kwanza kabisa tunazungumza the rise the rise of capitalism in europe right ambapo hizi ni topic mpya kama uje yani ni tofauti na hii story one ambayo unaweza ukatumia knowledge ya orevo na advance kwa maana ya, ya kidato cha tano ukaweza kujibu hii history tu ni mpya nini history ambayo hatukwahi kukutana nayo before ambapo ndo naambiwa is the rise of capitalism in europe lakini kuna the rise of democracy in europe 
topic ya pili kuna hii tunaita ni imperialism and the territorial division of the world right lakini topic ya tatu ambayo tunasemea ni the rise of dictatorship in german italy japan na ya tano tunazungumza the rise of socialism alafu ya sita tunazungumzia emergence of usa as a new capitalist superpower topic ya saba tunazungumza threats of the threats right threats of to world to world peace after the second world war na ya mwisho tunazungumzia neo colonialism and the equation of under development in the third world countries kwa hiyo hizi ndizo topic ambazo ni lazima history tu umezikava right na kwa experience yangu naonaga mimi by the time nasoma nilisoma kwanza history tu alafu baadaye nikaja ku blush mwishoni history 1 kwa hiyo hizi hii umda mchache uliobaki you have to ask yourself if you have already covered these topics or not and if not you have to do something right tukiachana history tunayo topic hii tunalosoma la geography the same applies hapa pia kuna topics ambazo lazima ujiulize kama umezikava baada ya ratiba kuwa imetoka na inaonesha mtalea mtiani topic ambazo lazima upaze through ambazo kuna geography 1 na geography 2 ni kama zifuatazo geography 1 always inakuwa imebezi na mambo ya olevo olevo ambapo tutaangalia application of statistic in geography tena geography ni very very easy ukilinganisha na hii na masomo mengine statistic tumesoma olevo kwa hiyo lazima na huku imetokea tena lakini tunazungumza field ambayo na, na field research ambayo tumeisoma na inatokea tena lakini kuna position behavior and the structure of the earth <coughs> same applies na yenye tumeisoma lakini tunayo dynamic earth and the consequences labda hiyo lakini kuna simple survey and map making lazima huyo unaijua na tushaisoma topographical map and interpretation umesoma photography interpretation umesoma water masses study of soil pamoja na spell space dynamics right hizi ndizo topic ambazo kama unajiandaa kuingia kwa chuma cha mtihani kwa kidato cha sita lazima uhakikishe kwamba wana geografia hizi topic zote umezikava ambao ni one lakini tu ambao ni very very easy tunazungumzia population umeisoma population and development lakini kuna agricultural development umesoma livestock keeping and management lakini kuna sustainable use of fuel and power kuna sustainable meaning kuna sustainable use of forest sustainable fish very very easy topics lakini kuna environmental friendly tourism pamoja na manufacturing industries pamoja na transport and the communication these are topics which you have to cover before the date of exam kwa hiyo jitahidi kabla mtihani kwa umefika hizi pia huo umezi master ni hizi ndizo ambazo zinatoa mtihani hakuna mtihani utakao toka out of here kwa you have to copy you have to read it you have to make sure kwamba before exam we tali hizo topic umezikavu sio kusema sikukwambia but let us complete with the Kiswahili tunamaliza na Kiswahili kwa maana ya topic ambazo zitatoa vi mitiani ambao mada za ku, za kutaini ya kwanza ni ufahamu right hiyo ni Kiswahili 1 ufahamu E, matumizi ya lugha topic ya pili utumizi wa lugha topic ya tatu uandishi maendeleo ya Kiswahili na tafsiri ni zile nyingi ni yani zina taswira ya olevo right isipokuwa ukinapoenda advance ujibuji pamoja na una, kuna utanukaji fulani right lakini kwa Kiswahili tu tutazungumzia fasi kwa ujumla lazima uwe kava ambapo hapa ni ni, 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 ni taangalia kwa undani usanifu wa maandishi shai ushairi riwaya na tamthilia ambao unapozungumzia ushairi riwaya na tamthilia maana ukijifunza ushairi lazima uwe umekava hivi vitabu vya kina Kimbunga e, ma, 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 na, na vingine vingine hivi lakini riwaya lazima hii siku utakapokuisha na vingine pamoja na tamthilia lazima umekava kuanzia tatu tatu kwa kila kila pande mfano kwenye ukingo wa theme kwa hiyo kama mwanafunzi ambaye tumeona hapa ratiba ya mtihani kwamba imeshakuwa announced basi nimekupitisha hapa kwa haraka haraka kujaribu kujionea kwamba how 
mmejipanga vipi right ambapo next time nitakuja na video nitakuja kukuonesha kwamba namna gani ambavyo wanafunzi wanatakiwa kujibu mtihani eh haijalishwe ni form 6 kuna vitu vidogo vidogo ambavyo lazima uvijue ambavyo wengine wanavikosea ambavyo wewe ukijiepusha navyo vitakusaidia kwa hizi siku chache zilizobaki um baada ya kusema hayo kwanza ni same thanks for watching my video na nikutake au nikuombe basi next time usisahau before you go just please usisahau kusubscribe ili nitakapokuja na video zingine ambazo za kuonesha namna ya kujibu mitiani uwe ni mtu wa kwanza kupata video kama hizo thanks for watching is me teacher d you are welcome bye bye